When one young jaguar was taken to a rescue center in Ecuador, vets could see that the animal was suffering. Then again, with the creature apparently abandoned by her mother and all alone in the big, scary world, there was little wonder that she might find it hard to come out of her shell. However, vets had no idea of the true agony that the cub was hiding. It all began in October 2016 with a call to San Francisco de Quito University in Ecuador about a young, wild animal. Specifically, the caller had found a jaguar cub, and although she was clearly still a baby, there was no sign of the big cat's mom anywhere. Additionally, the Good Samaritan had tried to get the young cub to move on her own accord, but to no avail, hence the call to the university for help. And that wasn't as unlikely a move as it may seem, for the university is home to the Turi Research Institute. The institute excels at animal rescue, rehabilitation, and then, if possible, release back into the wild. Furthermore, the staff at Tori works specifically with wild animals that have been victims of hunting, trafficking, and illegal possession. Since its establishment in 2012 then, the institute has been instrumental in helping thousands of creatures return to their natural habitats. Every week, we receive wild animals from all over the country who are victims of indiscriminate hunting, veterinary student Veronica Cabrera told the Dodo in November 2016. It was decided, moreover, that the jaguar should be taken in by the Tory Rescue Organization. And once there, she was given a physical examination by the facility's vets. They quickly learned that the little jaguar was paralyzed in all four legs, yet they had no idea why. She would need an x-ray then, but this was something that would take time to organize. In the meantime, though, the year-old cat's ailments remained a mystery. Indeed, from the offset, little was known about the young cat. We don't know exactly what happened because villagers don't want to give information, but she was found next to a palm plantation without her mother, Cabrera told the dodo. Therefore, medical staff had little option but to wait until the x-ray results came before confirming a plan of action. And when the vets finally managed to x-ray the jaguar, they discovered that she had been carrying an enormous and painful secret. In fact, the scan showed that she had an incredible 18 bullets inside her body. Furthermore, two of them, most worryingly, had damaged the cat's spinal cord. We suppose they were too close to the plantation and were shot, Cabrera said. In a desperate act to help the poor cat then, the vets decided to operate. Indeed, they would do everything in their power to help the little jaguar they named Diara. However, the operation showed that the bullets were lodged deep into Diara's bones. This meant that another procedure would have to be attempted in order to remove them all. And after that, the young jaguar would need to undergo months of physiotherapy. In the meantime, the facility's staff helped spread the news of Diara's story to the general public. We want her story to be known by everyone so people can prevent or stop hunting animals, Cabrera said to the dodo. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Currently, jaguar conservation is a big deal in Ecuador. Indeed, some say the country may have the highest population of jaguars in the world. The animal is native to the Americas and can be found throughout South America and as far north as the United States. However, the total number of wild jaguars is sadly in decline. Still, jaguars aren't yet considered to be an endangered species, rather they're deemed as near-threatened. Risks to the animal's existence include deforestation, poaching, and fragmentation of their habitat. Jaguars have also been known to be shot by farmers when they get too close to livestock or crops, as may have happened in Diara's case. And although there's no escaping the fact that Diara's recovery will be far from straightforward, there is hope for her future. A few days after she was admitted, in fact, two students saw the cat moving her hind legs independently. It was a small piece of progress, but it gave the vets confidence in her potential to recover. Eventually, Diara was able to undergo another operation. 
Now she is able to change her position by herself, so it seems like the surgery was successful, Cabrera said to the dodo. Now she can eat 15 to 20 chicken breasts per day without problem. She is getting stronger, she added. What's more, since Diara was brought to San Francisco to Quito University, she has become a symbol of animal conservation in Ecuador. Let's trend with her name to end the jaguar hunt in Ecuador, Ecuadorian sports presenter Alberto Estudio wrote on Facebook. He accompanied his message with a video of the jaguar receiving treatment and added, Diara means tiger or brave jaguar. Estudio's post was subsequently shared hundreds of times. No more killing, there are so few of those left, wrote one of the broadcaster's followers. Human beings are increasingly cruel, added another. Terrible to see the pain of a pet that is fighting for her life, punishment for those criminals who tried to kill her. Fortunately, in recent years, there have been moves from the Ecuadorian government to help the cause of jaguars. In 2008, for example, the country established laws to protect a number of wild animals, including the big cat. And it is probable that Ecuador will want to avoid following the fate of El Salvador and Uruguay, where jaguars have already become extinct. So with the extinction of jaguars in Ecuador a very real possibility, every single jaguar life a vet can save is crucial. And although it's still too early to predict what the future has in store for Diara, there have been positive signs that she will find her strength again. Indeed, in an update posted on November 7, 2016, a studio shared the fact that after more treatment, Diara had regained some sensitivity in all four paws. And while he cautioned that review and treatment is complicated for obvious reasons, he also added that doctors are looking for the best way to stay positive for the jaguar. Here's hoping then that Diara makes a swift and full recovery. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.